Attention all citizens of the new California Republic. Are you looking for a way to make a real difference in the world? To protect your homeland, your family, and your way of life? Then the NCR military is looking for you. As a member of the NCR military, you'll be part of the most powerful and respected military force in the wasteland. You'll receive the best training, equipment, and support to ensure that you're always at the top of your game. But being part of the NCR military is more than just a job. It's a calling. It's a chance to make a real difference in the world, to stand up for what's right and just, and to fight for a brighter future. So if you're ready to step up and be part of something bigger than yourself, if you're ready to serve your country with honor and distinction, then the NCR military is looking for you and list today and be part of the legacy of heroes who have defended the NCR for generations. Remember, the NCR military, defending our way of life, no matter the cost. A huge thanks to the wonderful folks at the NCR propaganda, I mean recruitment office for sponsoring the Joe Rogan Experience, the New California Republic's number one podcast. Hey, Jamie, can you cut that part where I almost thank the NCR's propaganda office? Wait, what do you mean we're still broadcasting live? Uh, it says, 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 Ah, oh, fuck. This jet mixed with rad scorpion venom has got me hallucinating again. Jamie, help. Welcome back to the Joe Rogan Experience, folks. Today we have a special guest on the show, President Aaron Kimball, the leader of the new California Republic, currently occupying the Mojave Wasteland. Mr. President, it's an honor to have you here. Thank you, Joe. It's great to be here. So, uh, let's jump right into it. The new California Republic has a long and storied history. Can you tell us a little bit about the founding of your nation? Absolutely. Before the NCR, there existed Shady Sands. The town was rife with conflict, with constant problems from rad scorpions and raiders alike. That was until the vault dweller stepped in. He single-handedly saved the town, and we still praise him as a hero today. Afterward, the new California Republic was founded in 2186 by Aradesh, who is also our first president. Our primary goal is to create a stable democratic society that could thrive in the post-apocalyptic world. That's really interesting. The vault dweller is something that Marcus, another guest on our show, has mentioned. So how has the NCR changed over the years? Well, we've faced a lot of challenges over the years, but I like to think we've come out stronger on the other side. Our population has grown significantly, and we've expanded our borders to include much of California and parts of Nevada. One of our biggest challenges is dealing with the various factions and groups that exist in the Mojave Wasteland, where we're currently occupying. Those damn raider junkies, which we conveniently name fiends, have been giving us trouble left and right. Also, the cons have been a consistent problem for us. Some may call my take controversial, but Bitter Springs was justified. We've had to fight a number of battles to establish our presence here, and there are still threats that we need to deal with on a daily basis. That's a... Uh really bold take about Bitter Springs. Hmm. Speaking of the Mojave Wasteland, what can you tell us about the situation there? I've heard rumors of a conflict between the NCR and a group called the Legion. Yes, the Legion is a formidable enemy that we've been dealing with for some time now. They're a highly organized military force that's dedicated to the destruction of our republic. We've fought several battles with them already, but they continue to be a thorn in our side. That sounds like a tough fight. How do you plan to defeat the Legion? We have a number of strategies in place, but our primary focus is on winning the hearts and minds of the people of the Mojave. We believe that by demonstrating the benefits of democracy and freedom, we can show the people that the NCR is the best choice for their future. Well, it sounds like you have your work cut out for you. Another question, if you may. Many people have accused you of being corrupt and serving the will of the Brahmin barons. What do you say to these valid accusations? I'm sorry, Joe, but those accusations are completely baseless. The NCR is a democracy, and I serve the will of the people, not some wealthy elite. The Brahmin barons have no special influence over our government or our policies. Okay, but there have been reports of corruption within the NCR government, including allegations that some officials have accepted bribes from the Brahmin barons in exchange for favorable treatment. How do you respond to those claims? Those claims are simply untrue. We have a strict code of conduct within the NCR government, and anyone found to be engaging in corrupt activities will be punished to the fullest extent of the law. 
These allegations are nothing more than baseless rumors spread by our enemies. All right, fair enough. Let's move on to another topic. The NCR is often seen as a beacon of hope in the post-apocalyptic world with its focus on democracy and freedom. But there are also those who criticize your government's expansionist policies. What do you say to those critics? Well, I would say that our expansionist policies are necessary for the survival of our republic. We need to secure new territories and resources in order to support our growing population and ensure our long-term stability. Of course, we always try to expand peacefully and through diplomatic means, but sometimes force is necessary to protect our interests. Uh, many people are curious about your relationship with Robert House, the founder of New Vegas. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, Mr. House is an interesting figure. He's a brilliant man with a lot of ideas about how to improve the Mojave wasteland. While we don't always see eye to eye on everything, we do share a common goal of making the region a better place for everyone. That's a diplomatic answer. But what do you really think of Mr. House and his plans for New Vegas? I suppose I should be careful what I say since Mr. House is a powerful figure in the Mojave. But I will say this. While I respect his intelligence and his vision for the future, I have concerns about his methods. He's very secretive and seems to have his own agenda, which can be a bit unnerving. Now, some of our viewers may view you negatively, Mr. President, for your handling of certain crises in the past. For example, there was the I-15 incident where the new California Republic failed to provide aid to minors still troubled by death claws. There was also the situation at Camp Forlorn Hope, where NCR troops were left vulnerable to Legion attacks. And there have been concerns about your government's inability to deal with the Fiends gang. What do you have to say to those criticisms? Well, Joe, let me say that I take those criticisms very seriously. As the leader of the NCR, it is my responsibility to ensure the safety and security of our citizens and our troops. And in those instances, we fell short. However, it's important to understand that we are operating in a very challenging environment with limited resources and a multitude of threats. We are doing the best we can with what we have, but mistakes will inevitably happen. The important thing is that we learn from those mistakes and strive to do better in the future. I can understand that, but some people might argue that these mistakes are indicative of larger problems within the NCR government. They might say that you're stretched too thin or that you're not able to effectively govern such a large territory. What do you say to those criticisms? I say that those criticisms are unfounded. We have a robust system of governance in place with checks and balances to ensure that power is not abused. And while there are certainly challenges associated with governing such a large territory, we have a dedicated and skilled workforce that is up to the task. Before we go, I have one more question for you, Mr. President. What are your thoughts on the Brotherhood of the Steel? There have been reports of clashes between NCR troops and the Brotherhood in the past. And some people see them as a potential threat to the security of the region. The Brotherhood of Steel is an interesting group, to say the least. They have a unique perspective on the world and a strong sense of purpose. However, we have had our disagreements with them in the past, particularly over their hoarding of technology. That being said, we recognize that the Brotherhood can be a valuable ally in the fight against the Legion and other threats to the region. We are open to dialogue with them and are willing to work with them if it benefits the people of the Mojave. That's a reasonable approach. Well, Mr. President, thank you again for your time. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you, Joe. The pleasure was all mine. Thank you, Joe. Yeah, you did it, dude.